very cold Monday morning, but it's been made better by the fact I'm having a latte and I'm joined by Patrick Gould. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Yeah. Good. So we're here to talk about your new single, The City. Um, what's it about? Um, the City is, I guess, perfect for days like this where it's grey outside and, um, and you know, it's traffic jams and um, you don't want to get out of bed and, you, and your partner has a tricky week ahead of him and or her and um and it's kind of um it's a, it's a song uh to say to your partner or your friends saying like no matter where we live or the times that we live in um if they're hard then um love should um conquer all you know that's such a nice positive message thank you <laughs> <laughs> and it's taken from your new album uh Lupa Kalia Lupa Kalia Kalia but I like the I like yeah. that yeah that's that. my, I think that's my northern I wanna, twist on it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I think everyone should be able to have their own pronunciation and take on the words. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about the album. Uh, it's my fifth record, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a departure in in the way that um, a lot of my albums have been quite focused on um, escapism, mm -hmm. and this one is about um, having roots in in one place and being happy. And, and centered and um, and just starting to enjoy life. We've had some brilliant press. They obviously they said that this they think that the kind of the city is going to be your biggest single that you've ever had. Even Lady Gaga, she said that you're her favorite new artist. How does that make you feel? Um, well, it's it's an honor from the Gaga, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> is it pressure? Do you think? Uh, pressure. Um, the only pressure I have right now is to to make sure my live shows are amazing. The sound's very different on this fifth album. Do you think that's going to reflect in the live shows as well? Are you going to be doing anything different? Well, I've um, been learning the Celtic harp, actually. Wow. So um, I was a harp player at school. When I left home, I couldn't take the harp with me, and so I never really played since then. And then I started working with a, an amazing musician called Serafina Steer mm -hmm. on this album, and she's a concert harpist. And, um, and it really reminded me of my passion for that instrument. So that's my, my biggest thing that's new for this tour is to play the harp. You do normally kind of have a bit of a cult following, but with this fifth album, do you think there's going to be a chance of more commercial fans? Commercial, I hate this word that's like attached to um, <laughs> expectation. I kind of, I, I, I hope a wider audience mm -hmm. and I always, um, you know, you have to aim high and, and the whole point of releasing an album is so people can hear it. Yeah. So the more people hear it, the merrier. Won't let the city destroy my love somewhere that um, you don't like to wear pants is that is that rumor or is it true <laughs> pants is in underpants yes yeah yes um well <laughs> I have been doing interviews since I was 19 okay. so um, there probably have been times in my life where um, I've not been in, into underwear but there have been times in my life I've not been into uh, even wearing trousers so, uh, <laughs> so so, you know, um, I'm, I'm on a constant evolution. Okay. Constantly changing. <laughs> I am wearing pants today. Okay, though, yeah. thank God. Thank God. No, I'm really joking. Well, it's very really cold today. I've got some view questions for you. Okay. Um, some Red Room fans. Is it all right to ask you? Yes, indeed. Okay, yes. hang on one second. Okay, Brandon Desario would like to know, which hair colour have you enjoyed being the most and why? Maybe being bald, like skinhead, was quite nice actually, because <laughs> I didn't have to worry about about um, shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> yes, blondes have more fun, but they have more split ends, you know. So. True, very true. Um, yeah, so it's it's tricky, it's tricky and uh, work, but um, yeah, skinhead. I think skinhead, skinhead is best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In the past, you've had songs about pigeons, magpies, vultures. Mm -hmm. um, what's your influence for your new record? In terms of birds, mm -hmm. um, well, there's a song on the record called The Falcons. I didn't have a name for this song. Okay. And um, the day that I finished it and mastered it, um, I had to come up with a name. And um, it reminded me of the peregrine falcons coming to, to um, Southwark. They always come to me in my life when um, something good is happening within romance. So falcons are really important to me, peregrine falcons. So um, so that's the birth for this record, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us in the Red Room and good that's luck with right. your album and the tour. Yes, <laughs> nothing for